so I'm at works up in Nottinghamshire I thought I'd have a cycle down the canal tonight and see if I could find a bit of coolness but it's sweltering everywhere they were saying about 39 degrees on my uh, parent, parents uh, temperature gauge in the garden today but I don't think it was quite 39 in fact we were about 42 about half past uh, five but it's been a sweltering day um, the world isn't actually cooling because the actual uh, average temperature for the world dropped in June to 0 0.06 above the 40 year average so uh, it's actually dropping in June so uh, it'll probably drop even more when we get around to uh, July so that is the sort of bridge that goes over the top of Worsup Canal and I found a little gem down here uh, we're actually on Church Walk and I'm not sure why they call it Church Walk. I've never really found anybody around here while I've been down here to find out but there's some absolute little gems down here which I'm going to show you. I've done pictures of them in the past but I don't think the pictures really show you how good they are or you know the architecture on them but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom across onto this building up here. Now when I was a kid we used to park just past there and this was an hardware store really fantastic hardware store back in 1960s and 70s and even before that as well before I was born but now that's uh, Lockside pub I think so I'm now once what was once called the Fisherman's Arms down this road I'm still on church walk and somebody's told me that there is a church down here if I turn to the right. But it's now somebody's home. I don't know how long ago it shut down, but it's looking in pristine condition, which is really nice. Shame it's not a pub, but we can afford to uh, compete against the supermarkets now. So I'm just going to pop round the corner and show you just round the corner at this other building, which I find really interesting. So that's just another angle of the Fisherman's Arms. Just shows you how well it's been kept. It's really nice to see things being kept like the original and even better and this is what really interests me around here it's the old gas officers in a workshop I mean just look at the architecture on that One of the things I've not noticed in works up is in Sheffield there's lots of lower levels where sometimes you'll find windows or doors actually below street level. Now works up's a sandy area and I would have thought they'd have to dig deeper into the ground to actually put the foundations down in works up but I'm seeing no low levels which I find really strange but if you look on top of this building I mean it's like the uh, goes in with the mud flood type stuff with uh, energy generation centers I mean, this is a gas office so uh, I don't know the, the actual date on it is uh, as you can see 1914 but the architecture I mean what actually went wrong with architecture that we built beautiful buildings like this in 1914 and now we're turning absolute trash out but I think this is probably a flat being turned into flats now but that is really strange on top probably day from a uh, Stockton, I think it's on Tees who does a lot on the mud floods can probably explain what that is on top. It looks like the original thing on top of that green thing. So, uh, so that's the gas officers. Very uh, exclusive sort of building for gas officers, isn't it? And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can find the church around. If I can't, then it's the end of the video. So I've just found out what the church walk comes from if you actually walk through that park from the bottom end of that road i've just been on where that 
pub and gas works was we like to find the priory some astonishing building it's like a cathedral inside the priory been to concerts in there and uh, the I think it was the uh, works up MP the previous one who wanted to actually put the remains I think of Richard the first in here or somewhere around here so uh, That's works at Priory, it's well worth coming in if you can find a concert on because I'm not a religious person in any way and what I'll do is I'll actually show you the gatehouse while I'm here because it's a shame not to show you the gatehouse So I'm now at works up Priory gatehouse If I'm correct on this, I think this cross has actually been moved here it doesn't belong here, if I'm right and I'll see if I can find the board around here because there's a board on it but uh, it's quite deteriorated really, a lot of the uh, statues in this building. I'll just go up close for you and uh, give you an idea. You can see uh, some of the statues seem a lot older than uh, probably what the building is, well, what the building's supposed to be. So uh, I don't know what that person was going on about, but you do get some weird people shout things out to you. So this is another angle of the Pirate Priory from the side. I like it's a huge place inside. But you can see right in the middle of it, it looks like that's quite a recent addition with the, the stonework and, the, and that, where you've got like a spire that all looks modern. But there's real deterioration on the actual stonework. I mean, we've got churches from 1400 around where I live that might go back to about a thousand. We don't get anything like the deterioration in the stonework statues on on them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can find that board that tells you more about it. But I'm not very geared up on this one, I'm very clued up on it, but it just gives you a real appreciation of this building. So this is what I was looking for, it's actually the uh, board that tells you more about Priory and the gatehouse. And you can stop the screen and actually uh, have a look at what it says about it, or you can research it on uh, Google. Well, that's the uh, walkway up to the gatehouse. Looks quite nice. And that's just another angle of it. So that's just a short video on some interesting buildings in uh, workshop.